السلام عليكم كلاس I think this is the last lecture according to our syllabus as per course outline that is the vasopressin and oxytocin these two hormones are also proteinous hormones they are also termed as neuropaisal hormones we are going to discuss that one but before that i have to clarify two points which are asked by one of the, of the student in the last lecture i have told you that the prostaglandin or in human being insulin is synthesized as a long peptide chain that is proinsulin and proinsulin is got a, around 78 to 86 amino acids jo uske andar ek figure di thi usme se wo स्टूडेंट पूछ रहे थे कि ये जो है फिगर में जो क्लीवेज है वो शायद उसको समझ में नहीं आ रहा था कि थर्ड इवेंट पर है या कहाँ पे तो मैंने कहा था कि उस क्लीवेज को देख लो मैंने एक दूसरी भी डाल दी पहला जो था वो रेफरेंस उसका खोए का था पहला जो और उसके साथ दूसरी जो डाली है एक गिजोल विल्सन है एडिशनल केमिस्ट्री बाइट गिजोल विल्सन ये दोनों टेक्स्ट बुक्स आपकी प्रेस्क्राइब टेक्स्ट बुक्स में से हैं उसमें से ये दोनों ली गई हैं उसके अंदर अगर चाहो तो उसको थोड़ा सा और देख लो कि मुझे बताया था कि थर्टी वन पर प्रिवेज हो रहा है वो थर्टी वन पर ही है ठीक है ना और होता ये है कि थर्टी वन पर जब होता है तो उसमें से थर्टी वन और थर्टी टू जो आर्जिनिन है दे आर गोइंग टू बी रिमूव फ्राम देट वन दे आर गोइंग टू बी रिमूव फ्राम देयर और जो आपके पास 63 दिया हुआ था उस पर भी यही होता है कि 64, 65 जो है 64 और 65 दैट इज आर्जनी लाइसी एट 64 एंड 65 फाइव दे आर क्लिप बाय दैट वन एंड ऑफ द अब उसको देखो शायद बेहतर आ जाए तुम समझ में अगर पहली दफा नहीं आया था तो आप उसको देख लो क्या वो आ रही है अगर अभी भी कोई डाउट है कोई क्वेश्चन है तो जो आप वेलकम टू आस्ट देखना बाद हमने जी एल पी वन देखा था जी एल पी वन को काफ़ी हद तक हमने एक्सप्लेन कर लिया था तो उसकी तो इतनी ज़रूरत नहीं थी लेकिन और चीज़ जो सेंडिकेट की थी अबाउट एमाइलिन और मैंने उसके बाद कहा था कि एमाइलिन इज देयर ओके मैंने कहा था कि पैंक्रास जो हैं वो बल्कि इतने वो चार तरह के आगे जो कुछ स्ट्रक्चर हैं उनको भी सिंथेसाइज करते हैं और उसके साथ साथ दे आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सिंथेसाइज एमाइलिन और एमाइलिन जो है वही बीटा पैंक्राटिक सेल्स से होते हैं ये ऑलरेडी मैं बता चुका हूँ उसको जवाब दिया था मैंने लेकिन फिर दोबारा उसको रिपीट कर रहा हूँ कि वो जो है एमाइलिन वो सीक्रीट होता है बीटा सेल्स ऑफ लंगर and that is also released in response to the food intake after the consumption of the food that is also released after the consumption of the food amylin itself is a single chain peptide that have 
about 37 amino acids amylin reduces the or slow the gastric emptying it also lowers the blood glucose levels by decreasing glucagon release by decreasing glucagon release and it is observed that the level of amylin is less in the patients of diabetes 1 and also in the type 2 diabetic patients who are using the insulin who are using the insulin. Now we have got an analog of amylin which is in clinical use and it is approved for use in type 1 and type 2 diabetes. The name of that analog is Primlinotide, that is present in that slide. I don't know whether we have bought it or not. So these are the answers of that uh, those questions. Then we are going to start the vasopressin and oxytocin. Both of these hormones are also peptide hormones or proteinous hormones because they have got the peptide link change. That's why we are saying peptide hormones, peptidal hormones or peptide hormones and also proteinous hormones because they are produced by Posterior pituitary gland by means of hypothalamic neurohypophysial system. Therefore, they are also termed as neurohypophysial hormones. Neurohypophysial hormones. Both of these peptides and their respective carrier proteins. They are synthesized from different precursors, proteins, and then degraded into smaller bioactive peptides in order to transport along the axons. Vasopressin, the hormone is also termed as ATH antidiuretic hormone or pituitary antidiuretic hormone as synthesized by pituitary. Why it is termed as antidiuretic hormones? Because this is responsible for the renal tubular absorption of water. It affects the permeability of the system distal part of the mammalian nephron resulting in conservation or excretion of the water. Cyclic AMP also affects similar permeability changes as it is suggested that the gap is involved in the mechanism of action of ADH. This pituitary ADH is generally used the cases of diabetes insipidus vasopressin and oxytocin oxytocin both have got the 
similar structures you can see they have got the peptide chain both of them see third position vasopressin have got phenyl RNA oxytocin have got isoleucine oxytocin have got isoleucine and then at position 8 vasopressin have got arginine and oxytocin have got leucine oxytocin have got leucine these are the two differences in the structure otherwise the structure is same for both oxytocin and vasopressin vasopressin have got other actions those are may be termed as non-renal action of vasopressin and one is renal ab renal absorption and the other one is the vasoconstriction effect and neurotransmitter action in central nervous system as it regulates ACTH secretion circulation and body temperature but these are non-renal action ADH is therapeutically useful in the treatment of diabetes insipidus it is also used to relieve intestinal paralysis and distension Des desmopressin that is one des amino arginine vasopressin is a synthetic derivative of vasopressin long acting more potent antidiuretic than vasopressin and the pressure activity and vasoconstriction vasoconstrictive effect is less and have got more resistance against the peptide disease. This is due to the deamination at position 1. In the same way, substitution of D for L arginine in position 8 will reduce the vasoconstrictive effect into 8 k over arginine. If it is L arginine, if it is replaced by D arginine, then the vasoconstrictive effect will be reduced. Vasoconstrictive effect will be reduced. The other hormone is the oxytocin. It has stimulant effects on the smooth muscles of uterus and mammary glands and less relaxing effect on vascular smooth muscles. This is a considered dry, drug of choice to induce labor, particularly in case of intraperitoneal hypotonic inertia. It may also be used to prevent or control hemorrhage, to correct uterine hypertonicity. It contracts myopithelium of the mammary glands. Oxytocin is really administered parentally by IV infusion, by IV injection, or maybe intramuscular or IM injection. Citrate buccal tablets are also available, but the rate of absorption is unpredictable. That's why generally it is not used. Topical administration can also be possible. Are nasal spray is available which is used two or three minutes before 
energy to promote milk injection. This oxytocin is also used in animals or in the wine. For example, buffalo just to promote milk ejection and that's why it is said that this is an unethical use of the compound and the hormone is present in the milk which is ejected after its administration and may affect the systems in the user in the user that is an unethical behavior unethical use of oxytocin by this we have completed our course along the line. If you have any question, you can ask. You can send message on WhatsApp and inshallah you are going to have the answer for those ones. One thing more. I have asked Dr. Saira to give you the assignment that is for 5 marks that should be in both forms soft and hard copy. You have to upload the soft form on your mail and you have to submit the hard copy when we are going to meet physically. It can be submitted to me, to Dr. Saira, or maybe in my office, or Dean's office, or administrative office of the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Thank you very much.